It has been 20 years since our king, Harold Godwinson the Great, defeated the Normans at Hastings. His victory cemented Saxon rule over all England, but the Normans still claim these lands as theirs. What claim does Henry, son of a foreign bastard, have to these lands? As Saxons, ours is the right of conquest, one right that we respect. If those Normans fail in this endeavour, then forever they will lack our esteem. But they have presented us with an opportunity to change our minds. Henry, son of the bastard, has gathered a great host, hell bent on revenge for his father, with a claim to England so weak that even the holiest Pope has called it folly. That host has now arrived, and young Henry, so green and ambitious, has been parading through our land, claiming to be the rightful king. Ha! Harold has the wrath upon him, and the army, although weaker than Henry's, remains confident under his experienced command, even with his old age. Harold marched the army to meet Henry, knowing Henry's pride would mean he'd pursue. But our king is old and wise and retreated, drawing Henry through our lands, weaker and with less supplies and lacking morale. Harold chose his defence carefully, overlooking ancient Stonehenge. Amongst its pillars, he roused us with talks of this land we now call home and the ancient heroes that came before. He called us Saxons, mighty and powerful, for looking upon those great stones perched high above our heads. It must be true that the Bretons before were giants, and it was us who vanquished them. Who are the Normans then to Saxons, the men who vanquished giants? Battle now awaits me, and I pray that our king is right. Hi guys, welcome back to another 1100 AD mod battle, and I hope you enjoyed the intro again. I know we said we were fighting at Stonehenge, but you've got to imagine, Stonehenge is just down here. We're fighting on a hill nearby to Stonehenge, but it worked thematically to talk about Stonehenge in that lovely intro. I hope you enjoyed that, guys, so do let me know whether you're enjoying these sort of intros to these battles. But we're going to be playing the English versus the Normans, of course, and it's a bit of an alternate history where Harold Godwinson won and the Normans, Henry, Henry the bastard son has come to reclaim what his father always sought and died of bitterness from not being able to attain. So let's have a look at some of these stunning units in the 1100 AD mod, guys. Look at these guys, the English heavy axemen forming the front line here on the hill ready to go next to them the noble swordsman heavy melee infantry ready to fight on this glorious front line against the normans next to them we have the british spearmen spearmen ready to fight for their country and for the anglo-saxon people next to them we have more british spearmen on the other flank but we have some horsemen noble horsemen from the noble families of England, ready to fight once again. And behind them, we have the English longbowmen, trained from birth to fire their bows, ready to fire into those Norman ranks as they ascend the hill. We also have some crossbowmen, some new lovely crossbowmen over here, ready to fight. And the general of a noble swordsman in the back, Harold Godwinson himself. So let's have a look at the uh, Norman army. And on the flanks out here, we have some noble horsemen. Bit hard for us to see them right now, but here they are, looking fantastic. Very strong cavalry regiments over there. We have Frankish spearmen in the background, ready to fight, as well as some more Frankish spearmen up front. Alongside them are the light archers, a load of light archers in the back. But in front of these, we have the Norman Elite Axemen. Very strong unit, guys. Very, very powerful unit. And a Norman asset for them in this fight. We also have the Frankish Long Axes. Slightly different type of axe, but another very elite, uh, elite unit ready to fight. Very, very many Axemen for the Normans. As well as some Frankish Spearmen in the front here and behind. 
as well as a final Lancers. A couple of Lancer units, some shock cavalry, ready to shock those English ranks into, uh, into disarray. And in the background, some more Norman heavy cavalry, where Henry is surveying the battlefield. Well, guys, without further ado, let's press play and let's see. Uh, see what happens. See whether Harold himself can regain control of England. Uh, beat back the Normans once again on his glorious, glorious hill that he has found overlooking imaginary Stonehenge. Imaginary Stonehenge <laughs> over there. Um, you can see the crossbowmen coming out in front of the ranks, ready to fire their missiles into this awaiting Norman army. They can see the English ahead of them. They can see the hill that they're perched upon. But can they take it? They know it's going to be bloody. But can they finally lay claim to England? Here they come. Running now. Ready to fight. Henry himself stays far away from the battlefield. Not known for glory, Henry, I suppose. Uh, but here comes uh, the Frankish long axes. And soon, they shall be fired upon by the crossbowmen, by the uh, longbowmen in the back as well. Some glorious archer fire will soon commence on these guys. Here they come. Assailing the hill. Confident that they can take it for the glory of Normandy. And the arrows start falling. Here they come. The arrows are coming down, boys. Here they come in volleys. Attacking the enemy. Attacking those Normans. And you can see the right flank is very heavy in terms of the amount of infantry they've sent. But both flanks, the Normans seem to have the infantry advantage here. Some strong infantry coming up. They've also got their lancers on the flank. Ready to charge upon the spearmen. To try and break them from this hill. And here they come. Here come the lancers boys. As the front line is engaged in the crossbowmen retreat. And the spearmen. Spearmen are holding. But well, you can see the front line. And here comes some of the noble horsemen straight into the axemen. Now the Axemen are a very elite unit, but very good against infantry and not the Horsemen. So the Horsemen on this flank may win out. Going to be strong. And as the enemy, you can see these are very damaged units coming up the hill. They have taken huge damage from the arrows and from the crossbows. But you can see the right flank is glorious as the Spearmen try to hold out against the Noble Horsemen. And the Frankish Spearmen. And the Frankish Elite Axemen. Very strong attack on the right hand flank. As the centre is a lot weaker in terms of its attack. And as you can see the Spearmen have knocked the Lancers back. They knocked the Noble Horsemen back. And the Lancers back. And they, uh, they will be ready to engage them soon. Ready to come forward. But this flank still remains hotly contested. As the British Spearmen try to hold back the hordes of the fr of the uh, of the Normans the center however seems like the English are winning beating back the Franks beating back the Normans over here strong resistance from the English in these central lines glorious fighting going on and the noble horsemen of the English are coming forward to do some damage you can see the flank still holds this side as the noble swordsmen change their positions as Henry himself has come to the battlefield to try and fight. You can see these British spearmen taking heavy losses fighting back the hordes over here. As Henry himself charges the enemy knowing it was time now or never to break the English as his centre has pretty much crumbled and the English horsemen are running rampant through the enemy. You can see the center of the Franks has failed to breach the English line. And the noble horsemen are running rampant through his archers in the back. So it's the right flank then that he will make all his charges for. Make all his, uh, all his attacks on. The right flank. 
And you can see there are many, many Frankish units and Norman units in here ready to fight the British, the English. So here comes the noble horsemen fighting the archers. But as you can see, the flanks, uh, the centre has fully crumbled for the Normans now. And Harold can sense his victory as he brings himself to the right flank. He only knows that this right flank must be destroyed lest he be destroyed himself. So he has come to rally his troops, to rally his men. Where is he? That would be awesome to see, wouldn't it? But I'm not 100% not sure which one is the general and whether we can tell. But here he comes, the noble swordsman. Time to engage. Engaging the noble cavalry as the spearmen run from the battlefield. He knows that it's now or never. So does Henry. So does Henry as the center of his army completely crumbles. Completely crumbles and falls back. But where are the English horsemen? Where have they gone? They are too busy routing archers than to give, give chase and help to the crumbling English men on the side. So more noble swordsmen over here. Glorious, glorious battle as the archers continue firing on the, on the nobles that are running away, on the Normans that are running. And the noble swordsmen now free from their charges on the center flank are ready to come in and fight the noble horsemen themselves the normans and as you can see more noble swordsmen are coming round to close the trap upon them and really destroy them as well as the noble cavalry from the english noble cavalry knowing that this fight is crucial have come back to try and put an end to it so here they come as well as the British spearmen and heavy axemen from the right flank, ready to reinforce if needs be, as the rest of Henry's army crumbles away into darkness. Here come the swordsmen, the horsemen, the cavalry, ready to charge the noble cavalry of the enemy. Ah, yes, glorious charge, crushing them crushing them and that is a clear victory for Harold Godwinson the Great in this timeline. Well guys, I hope you really enjoyed that. I certainly did. It was a great battle, great fun. Of course, you've got to use your imagination a little bit for the Stonehenge part. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, it's uh, it's been a, it's been a glorious battle, and the glorious English won out against the Normans in this uh, fake history, this um, sort of fan fiction history um, lore. Anyway, so guys, I hope you enjoyed the intro. I hope you enjoyed the battle, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video after the glorious outro. Oh Lord, we have vanquished our foes. Henry is slain, his body hauled upon Stonehenge as an offering to those old gods of the Celts that must have watched over us here today. This land is Saxon, and it will remain so. The Norman line has ended with Henry. Who now has a claim to Saxon land? Who now has a claim to a Saxon king? Glory, glory to almighty God, glory to our king, and glory to the descendants of men who vanquished giants.